log 7 of 9, tertiary adjunct, unimatrix 01. In an effort to better understand human individuality, the doctor is asked I keep a record of my personal logs. A pointless task, but I do comply. I send him my daily, daily duty roster, and apparently that is insufficient, and I am told to elaborate. I emerge from my alcove after regeneration. My dreams are pleasant and non-existent. <laughs> I report to the mess hall for my morning nutritional supplement and attempt to engage in socialization with the crew. I approach Mr. Neelix, who enjoys pointless chatter. I am told to try and find things about a species that I can relate to. I tell him at the time when I was Borg, and we invaded a cargo vessel full of his species and assimilated every last one. I complimented on his muscular density as it made for easy assimilation. <laughs> he is displeased. <laughs> I approach Lieutenants Tom Paris and Milano Torres as they have started a romantic relationship, and I am curious about human intimacy. I ask them to explain to me the nature of their sexual relationship. Apparently, that was inappropriate. Uh, after, I report to the bridge and I speak with Commander Tuva. He acknowledges me with a slight nod of his head, and we stand in silence as we do our work, as he has, has no interest in inefficient conversation. I'm very fond of Commander Tuva. <laughs> End of vlog. <laughs> James St. James, and I'm here to teach you how to be fabulous. <laughs> but first, if I'm going to spend another minute in this roach motel, we need to kick things up enough. Uh, now, it's all about photo placement. When you're being photographed in a group of three, always stand on the right so that when the photo is printed, you'll be on the left, and the caption will read, James St. James and blah, 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 we're seen. Okay? Okay. <laughs> now, rules of press. Um, number one, no publicity is bad publicity. Number two, once something is printed, it automatically becomes true. So number three, never, ever, ever dish anyone in print. Uh, never be seen drinking anything but champagne. Never take heroin. Uh, <laughs> never wear it right after Labor Day. Oh, avoid that one like the plague, okay? <laughs> and uh, working alone. Let's see. Okay, well, uh, once you make your grand entrance, uh, take your partner by the hand. That's you, darling. Yes, come here. All right, now, and then step up. Oh, careful now, don't trip. That's bad. If you break a leg, it's bad. <laughs> Just take your partner by the hand and walk all the way around the room and say hello to everyone, even the people you don't know, especially the people you don't know. Hi! Hello! Hi! <laughs> Imagine this is a room and there's more things. Like, oh, this is a lot narrower than I anticipated. <laughs> Watch out for the muffin. Hi! Hi! Hi. Okay, now. Separate will walk in different directions. I'll walk clockwise to your anti clockwise, okay? So can we handle that? Okay, good. Hi! Oh, and ask everybody, wait a minute, I've lost my friend. Where's my friend? Do that, do that. I've lost my friend. Where's my friend? Oh, my goodness. Yes, exactly. And then, and then bump into each other like this. Oh, oh, and then scream with delight. Ah, ah, ah. We found each other. And then, and then take your friend arm in arm and go around and say, We found each other. We, we found each other. Yes. Oh, it's okay. You don't have to worry now. We found each other. Then leave. <laughs> the whole thing should take an hour, 90 minutes tops. Do that once a night for three months and you'll be the toast of the town. Oh heavens, is that the time? My Sanskrit class. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetheart, darling, really? I don't just jump when you clap or something like that. You don't understand. I did not clap. Would you like me to clap? <laughs> if you're going to clap, at least put a little bit of joie de vivre into it, you know? Joie de vivre. <laughs> Get it, you're a project, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, who did your little blue ones? Those are great, right over here in this thing. They're my board implants. They keep my vital organs running. 
Oh, I've got a couple of implants too. <laughs> Don't tell. <laughs> you are a curious individual. Why, thank you. You're rather curious yourself. Now, you came here for a reason, and clearly it's because you have no idea how to dress yourself. Gray is not your color. <laughs> Though I'll admit, the form-fitting thing is working for you because you have the form. Honey, you have the form. <laughs> Ooh, knows how to take a compliment. That's good. I have been practicing. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I have been scheduled many lessons with the doctor who's taught me how to be gracious and polite with other individuals. So are you seeing this doctor? <laughs> I think our relationship is extremely professional. <laughs> well, I mean, with a doctor's salary, it's worth it to, you know, breach those professional lines, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, uh, on the ship it's awkward to get involved with one's colleagues. A ship? Are we on a ship? Is this a cruise? Oh my god, get me a margarita! <laughs> oh. It is a vessel of exploration. We seek out life and make contact with other life forms. It is... Kinky. <laughs> contact with other life forms? I'll take it. <laughs> you should meet Tom Paris. <laughs> oh, I should. <laughs> I like the sound of his name already. There is a social function happening this evening, and I am to be fun. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I understand from the Bay database that you understand fun. Yes, yes, here. For starters, uh, just snort some of this. <laughs> yes, that'll help. Uh, and repeat every uh, 20 to 30 minutes or so, you'll be on top of the world. How are you feeling? It's a curious sensation. I, I feel I feel full of life. I feel very good. <laughs> very good. Good start. I feel very efficient. I can do ten things at once. I think we should all take this all the time. <laughs> Honey, don't overdo it, but I do kind of agree with you, I'll admit. It. You must get so much done. Are you very productive? Uh, well, I get a lot of people done, but not so many things. <laughs> I'm talking about sex. I fuck all the time. <laughs> yes, sexual relations. I'm uh, curious about this. I have never um, understood it completely. Hold the phone! What? <laughs> you? You? This? Has you, never? I was what? Sick. No, but this? <laughs> I said the form, and I meant you had the form. Never? Oh, girl, no! <laughs> Men find my forward way of speaking off-putting. I am Oh, but they don't... Intimidating? Yeah, well, I suppose, but... Honestly, do you... Do you, do you not want it? Is that it? I'm curious. <laughs> first things first, me can't help you out in that department directly. <laughs> but... <laughs> But we can get you there. Uh, step one, cleavage, you've got it. So, great, no adjustment needed there. Good. Step two, <laughs> why the bun? It's efficient, it keeps my hair out of the way and allows me to work without any distraction. Oh, but girl, sometimes it's all about distraction. <laughs> Have you ever tried, you know, just sort of doing, doing one of these? <sighs> oh. Greetings. <laughs> 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 well, it's a start. Um, okay, next up, your new color scheme. There's really, there's really nothing happening at all. Is this like a, a requirement that it be so bland and drab? It's standard gray. It seemed to suit purposes. Okay, but can we get like, uh. Like a like a like a necklace on there for a nice accent or something, or uh, maybe even a belt to just sort of put a good dividing line. I have no access to a belt at the moment. Aren't we in some kind of a <laughs> holographic deck that can make anything happen? Computer, I require a belt. <laughs> <laughs> Science. <laughs> Okay, looks like a rope, but it's a stick. <laughs> Girl, listen, ultimately it's not going to come down to 
the clothes you wear, or the accessories, or the hair, or any of that, it's got to be your attitude. You've got to be a little bit more mysterious. You see, if you're just direct, and you put everything out there, and you just say everything as it is, then yes, I guess you're right, it does turn some men off. So if you're, you've got a little bit more mystery to you, try sort of inflecting your voice a little bit so that the end of your sentence draws out. Like, oh, it's good to meet you. <laughs> Try that. Oh, it's good to meet you. How long is the amount of time to keep this up? Um, no, it's okay. You sound like Captain Catburn. <laughs> uh, you know what? Maybe you're beyond my head. But that doesn't mean you can't still have fun, because I do still have a lot of drugs. <laughs>